Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Scooty. Happy birthday to you. You're watching That's So Princess. Today is Scooty's birthday. She's 20 years old. So you guys should wish her a happy birthday in the comments down below in case she sees this video because she might. She just might. And now, Scooty and I are four years apart until my birthday in September. Yeah, believe it or not, it's my birthday is not 131. This is not on 131 like half y'all think because of my Instagram username. Because, you know, we're just going to recap for the guys who are new here. My The reason why my Instagram username, 131 is in my Instagram username, is just because, because, just so happens to be a day of my best friend. And I didn't want to forget. Okay, great. Okay, great. We're not here to talk about Scooby's birthday. If it's Scooby's birthday, we are here to talk about life lessons. We need to talk, kids. Life lessons are important. They help you with life. They make your life very easy. Well, not well easier, but it's not very easy. Because life isn't easy at all, so. I have all my life lessons on my phone, on notes, so I will get started. First one, triggered is only used for mental illnesses, not to, not for joking around, because people get triggered and it runs deep, very deep. Well, I don't really have any, like, triggers, but trigger off, like, a mental illness, I know some people do, and, like, if you use trigger, like, jokingly, that's gonna, like, um, like, um, increase the stigma of mental health, which is very bad. That stigma of mental health is very, very bad. We need to try to be stronger with the stigma. So, yeah. Next one. College is not for everyone. Like, you don't have to go to college if you don't want to. Like, just do whatever makes you happy. Like, like if college doesn't make you happy, don't go to college. If college makes you happy, go to college. Like, not everyone does do college, and that's okay. Like, you don't have to go to college. Next one. Don't wear red at Target unless you work there. Because then you're, everyone's going to think you're a Target employee. Unless you are, then they have to wear red. Next one. Don't read fan fiction in class or else you're going to get in big trouble. Also, if it's a Xenema fan fiction, you're going to be in deep, deep trouble. Next one, don't play loud music in class. That'll get you in some serious trouble. And you might not be able to go to college. Next one, save the drama for drama class because no one needs to hear about your petty drama unless they're your drama teacher or your classmates. And if you aren't fortunate enough like me to not need to take them, um, just get a llama, save the drama for your llama. My parents will let me get a llama. Next one. Call the bank before you leave town because then they're gonna be ringing you up. If you don't do that, they're gonna be like, Yo, yo, you just brought a foreign thing. You just made some purchase we didn't know about, and blah, blah, blah. They're gonna be ringing you up like crazy. Next one. If you are traveling to another country, do your homework. Just learn about customs, what not to bring, what like culture is like. And that kind of stuff, like the weather, you know. And, you know, just all things you need to do. Next one. Don't sleep in a chair or else you will get hurt. I mean, your neck will hurt very badly when you wake up. Next one is, do not apply for student search service. I had a horrible experience with it. I'll put the link down below. They invaded my privacy. It was very bad. Don't do it. Like, if you are going to apply, trying to think about colleges, you should, like, talk to your guidance counselor, talk to your parents, get a mentor, but not do search service. Like, just, that's a horrible idea. Don't, I don't advise you to do it. Next one. Never, ever ask someone what is in their pants because that's their personal business. You don't need to know. That's a private, private question. And some people might not, and, some people might feel uncomfortable with that question. And that's not where gender is. Gender isn't in your pants. It's in your heart. Right in your heart. It's in your shirt, basically. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Next one. If you don't know what pronouns someone uses, just ask. Doesn't hurt, okay? Doesn't hurt to ask someone about their pronouns. Next one. 
don't get your older friends to do your homework. Because once I got Taylor to do my home, asked Taylor to do my homework as a joke. And yeah, it was basically a joke. Like, And Taylor is eight years older than I am. And they graduated high school a while ago. So they probably don't know how to do my homework. And also, it's their, it's your education, not theirs. They already probably passed. Next one. Don't ask someone how their day was early in the morning because the day hasn't really started yet. So why would you ask them that? Next one is, even if you are a boy and you don't get the monthly gift, always carry pads with you because you never know when someone might need one. Next one is, there is absolutely, 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 absolutely nothing wrong with being LGBTQ plus because, because like, I know, you know, there's a bunch of hate that goes around like, that goes around about LGBT people, like transphobic people and that kind of stuff, but like, but if you are LGBT, LGBT, there's nothing wrong with that, and you are perfectly fine just where you are, you don't need to change for anyone, and make, and this channel is always going to be a safe zone for LGBT people, for anyone, no matter what race, gender, religion, um, like, whatever you are, you can just, this channel will always be a safe zone. And if I see trans people commenting, like, hate comments, I will delete those comments. Like, this is a no-hate zone. I don't tolerate hate in this at all. Like, I will literally delete all the hate comments. Okay. Next one. Never ever leave yourself un unattended around young children. One time, my aunt and uncle had to had to work very late. And so my cousin Elliot had to stay over at my, at my house. So, but I had counseling that day, and I... Accidentally had my phone at home while at counseling, and they decided to take my phone and film a snap. I mean, not a Snapchat, a story, an Instagram story for y'all. And I'll put the video down below. It's really funny. I watched it when I got home. I was like, oh my god, Elliot. <laughs> okay, next one. There's two more to go. If a trans or a non binary person changes their name, don't ask them what the birth name is because that's not your business to know about their birth name. And they might not want to tell you, like, they might associate with a dark time in their lives. And, like, y'all don't need to know about their birth name. Like, at all. Like, some... Elliot didn't change their name. They kept it as Elliot when they came out. Because Elliot's gender neutral name. But some people some people who are trans or non-binary change their names to something else. And you don't need to know about what their name was for. Because, a, and... Birth, I mean, real name doesn't always mean birth name at all. I mean, sometimes birth, real name isn't birth name. Some of are completely different for a person. The next one, last one is, never ever ask a trans person if they had the surgery. Basically what I'm saying is surgery to make them look more like the gender they identify as. So anyway, that's all the life lessons. I can't believe I made eight life lessons videos already. That's crazy to think that I made so many before. So remember kids, don't do drugs, do stay!